So far, I have made some sales, sold some leather, quite a fair bit. That, that's, that's leather price eight, so sixteen. I need to restock that. That's one of the harder ones to get. But let's see what else. Nothing from here. I saw the other day I sold some books. Oh, a few. There was only one last time. Oh, and both the mending books are gone, so I have to restock those. Um, I think I might leave some of the diamonds there for a while though, because it kind of encourages more people to buy if they see that other people have been buying. Um, and I'm top. Holy flipping moly! <laughs> that is sounding like a big order. And it's not signed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was shocking. I was expecting an order, but I wasn't expecting that much. But 23 blocks of diamonds. Yeah, I know the guy's rich. But wow. Okay. <laughs> that, that was surprising. To the staff of the newly established salvage shop, we, the representing party of Teacorp, would ask of your services in the enchanting of armour and tools enclosed in the Teacorp supply box, provided is the full inventory, 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 how do you say that? <laughs> that we wish you to upgrade the box contains six full sets of diamond armour, one diamond pickaxe. The item shall be enchanted as follows. Helmets, protection four, unbreaking three, mending, aqua affinity, respiration three, thorns, three and rename to T Corp helmet if possible. <sighs> Chest plates protection four and breaking three mending and thorns. So it's respiration and basically they want everything. Leggings protection four and breaking three mending thorns three and rename to T Corp leggings. Uh, boots protection four and breaking three mending thorns three death strider and feather falling. Renamed to T Corp boots if possible. And the pickaxe, efficiency five, unbreaking three, mending silk touch. Renamed to smooth criminal if possible. The payout has been calculated accordingly 25 items, 150D, 25 mending, 50D, 25. <laughs> I need to get 25 mending books. Delivery 1D, no break for it fee is 6D. Oh, wait. Did, 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 did. Let's just check. So he's paying the no prank prank free fee. Yeah, where'd that go? Wow. How many pages is this? Uh, no prank fee for six diamonds delivery 1D. So that was like an alternative. So it's actually overpaid by diamonds. But I'll take that as a tip probably. Total 207D. As such, 23 diamond blocks have been left in your case. We ask that you do not suddenly stop coming to the server while carrying out the order. Coming to the server, we also ask that you pardon us from not actually signing the book, otherwise, it loses most of the fancy colors and fonts. Ah, fair enough. Please notify Teacorps Team Mantua if any issues should arise when the order completed. Please transport the items to Teacorp headquarters in the provided Teacorp supply box. We look forward to the result. Okay, I might have to do some more AFK fishing for that. I'm going to put this in my ender chest so I don't lose it. Um, there's no space in my ender chest. Well, actually, I can put the order form and the diamonds in the box, probably, actually. If there's space in the box. Oh, no, it's just perfect. Cool. All right. And, wait. When he said... Da -da 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 da Let's just check that. Uh, transport the items in the supply box. Oh, sorry, he means this one. This is what I'm trans so supposed to transfer the items. In. Okay, so I need to enchant all that. That's eight, three, it's 24, 25. I need mending books for all of those. So maybe I won't be restocking this just yet. Woo! That is a big order. Oh, wait. In ender chest, wrong one. Okay, I'm going to get back to the farm and I'm going to start working on this. See what I can do so far. Because. But yeah, business really is booming. It's blowing my face off, quite literally. Well, not quite literally, but you know what I mean. So, so, so figurative, it's literal. It's fi fi figuratively literal. Okay. Well, that's how to make a lot of money. I just need to spend spend the next 10 years earning it, apparently. 
One thing I hadn't reckoned... I just can't speak today. One thing I hadn't reckoned on was... Well, other than just how many diamonds people are willing to throw at me, and how many tools. Um, I don't have a lot of thorns. I think I only found in my entire library two thorns, two books, and he wants thorns, thorns three. That's a tongue twister or something. Must be. On everything. So that's six sets. With 24 thorn, thorn, thorns three. Thorns three. Thorns three. Thorns three. So what I've got to, I'm going to move... Go over to Acacia and see if any of the villagers sell it, and then I might go over to the what? Go away! My computer's telling me I need an update. Um, then I'm going to go over to Warrior Village and see if any if there are any librarians there that have it. I might end up just doing villager breeding to try and get it, but that could be a pain. So either way, I'm going to still have to do a lot of AFK fishing because again, I've only got four or five mending books or something like that and I'm gonna need a lot more of those unless I can find that from from uh, the villager as well that would be good or I know there is someone else was selling them who I think has a villager was it Thor maybe so maybe I can just buy them from somewhere else and outsource them but yeah that, that should be fun I just walked in here and there's like 20 guys all in this big cluster just standing together Okay, maybe it's only like seven or eight, but that's crazy. All right, respiration, you suck. Um, you're not even selling. Oh, he's a cartographer. I have no use for cartographers. All right, workbench. Let's make some paper. I'll see what else this guy's going to sell me. All right. Offer me another one. Really? I don't want any of these things. Three farmers around here. I need more emeralds. Actually, I should check out whatever else is cartographer. Don't need a cartographer right now. <gasps> Woo! Yes! Okay, you might be my saviour. Um, just, I'm going to put you in a hole, temporarily. There's only thorns one, so I'm going to have to buy a lot of them. Cartographer, cartographer. I'm not sure all these guys will be good if I want to buy a thing. Shepherd? I could sell wool. I do have a lot of string. 38 emeralds, which sucks, but still mending. That's pretty good. Art. Thorns 3. 30 emeralds. Still a fair bit. But better than the guy over at Acacia. Eh, that Acacia. Much better. For him, these were like, I forget what they were, but they were a fair bit. And I would have had to, to buy lots of them. Whereas this guy, I need to buy one. Well, one times however many things I need, which is, what do we say it was? Four things times six. Whatever that is. Max brain isn't working today. Cartographer. Librarian, what have you got? Feather falling too, not really useful. Well, I've just been AFK fishing for a very long time. Must have been something like 15 hours without getting kicked from the server. That's that's crazy. And this entire thing is backed up, all the stackable items, over into the excess chest over here, all the way up to like, I don't think they go that high, but that next chest in there can reach that one. So yeah, that's just this is going to take some sorting out to do, but hopefully I'll be able to get what I need. I also made a pumpkin farm and melons, so that's been running as well, because I found a villager that will accept them at a pretty good price. So that should be, okay, that's not heaps, but it's not a huge farm. It's a decent quantity. So I can do that to help selling stuff for emeralds. So I'm going to sort through this stuff and see what I've got. All that. There was one book that had thorns on it, thorns too, and no mending books. Where did, where did I put that book, by the way? Uh, did I chuck it in here? I think I must have. That was dumb. Uh, no. I put it somewhere. I know I put it somewhere. So, yeah. I'd probably have to do some more trading with those villagers. 
But no, seriously. Look how many skeletons there are in here. They're not supposed to be able to spawn here. They just spawn in there. Their heads are stuck in the in the trapdoors. They can't move. Somehow, some of them must, because I get a few bones and arrows in the system. So, I don't know if they just spawn next to the edge. They're not supposed to be able to do that. And they do it a lot more rarely than the spiders and the creepers, it's true, but I don't know how they do it at all. And they're doing it on both levels, there's some down there as well. I don't know, that's just weird. This really is ridiculous. It's got to be of like something like 20 hours this time. And I'm still online, still fishing. It's amazing. How did I not get kicked or dropped or whatever in all that time? Alright, let's see. I'm guessing the loot's probably overflowed again. Uh, oh. oh yes, if it overflows past there, it'll fill up. Fill up Lee's chest a bit more. Oh, yep, yep, there's junk. Okay, well I need to sort through all this and see what we've got. I also decided I'd need a bigger pumpkin farm. Again, temporary, because all well, this is going to have to go, but yeah. Alright, just need 11 more mending books and 13 more thorns books. If I've done my maths correctly. Whew. So, thorns here, mending here. Yeah, boy. And that's after trading all the pumpkins I got and all the fishing I did overnight for 20 hours, plus the 15 hours from the day before. Whoa, what fun. He's a champion. Thor is amazing. Let's look what he's provided with me. Assuming he did his maths right, and I did mine right, he should have given me all the thorns and mending books that I need. He's got villagers which I think have better deals than mine do, and he has a lot of emerald spare. And yeah, I was just there lamenting about how many I still had to collect, and he was like, yeah, you come bring over, I'll get some for you and stuff. So, what an awesome guy. And this whole room has changed since I logged off last night here, and I came back and this whole back wall is gone, and it's all the way over there now, so it's kind of weird. Looks like I've had a visitor. Cool. Nice. Hopefully he didn't leave anything nasty. But yeah, visitors are cool. So I don't know, but I think I must have miscounted or something, because I still need three more mending books and six more thorns books. So I've just been over to Acacia again to get some more emeralds, but this time I'm going to take them to Thor's place to see if I can find his villagers to trade them with. So hopefully, when I come back with that, I'll have enough and I can actually do all the enchanting. I mean, I could start now with what I've got, but I kind of want to do it all at once, because... It's actually a pretty terrible idea, because I've got 104 levels now, and I'll have less. But, it, it feels good to be prepared beforehand, I guess. Alright, finally got all the thorns, and all the mending. I ended up having to... I bought some from Thor's shop. He said I could take some, and then we'd work out a deal later, but I figured it was easier just to pay. Um, yes. So, that plus... Oh yeah, there's this one as well. Plus, that's about eight double chests full of books. Plus the hoppers between them. I think I should have enough now to do all this crazy amount of enchanting. Well, anviling, enchanting, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to have to do it tomorrow or at a later date because it's past my bedtime. But you don't have to wait because you get to see it now. Slight delays due to guests visiting me in real life, you know, real life stuff. But in the process, I also discovered I need a lot more levels, so I constructed a a blaze farm at the double blaze spawner I conveniently found a few weeks ago. And I've also I've redone my fire texture, you might notice, and also the models as well. So they look a bit different.
different. I quite like that they've got a bit more shape to them for the regular ones and and stuff. And the main reason that drove me to do it, however, was working with blazers. I caught on fire a lot, mostly using fire resistance potions, except the one time I fell in lava, lava and died and lost all my stuff. But hey, I've got diamonds now, and still got mostly plenty of enchanted books, except for the, you know just the best ones. Um, right. But being on fire a lot, um, if I can regain my train of thought, being on fire a lot, um, my old fire texture it was really obstructed your vision, like a heck of a lot compared to like the default one where it's kind of flickering at the bottom of your screen. Mine kind of covers a lot of the screen and makes it really hard to see. So what I have done here, I've also, this is a separate texture from the one that it now uses. Well, it now uses this one, which is different from, in the files, it's different from the one that, that goes on your face when you're in fire. And also it's, that's the same as well, one of the ones that goes for entities that are on fire. So I've changed that one. So it's actually different from the actual fire blocks you see by doing useful stuff with block models and block states and all that stuff. So that now it is, you are much more visible when on fire. See, it only looks like this now. Much, much better in my opinion. Uh, ooh. Down. Uh, good old wither, eh? Um, so yes, this is the blaze farm just over here. And it uses the clever wandering mechanics that Nembon showed off a while back for his blaze farm. So that it, there's no redstone components or moving parts at all. And all the blazes just tend to end up in this lovely little area here where you can easily kill them. And it's fairly big to allow for entity cramming. So that you can hold still a reasonable number of them before they take damage. I know you can do the trick where you put ladders so that they can't cram infinitely. But I like doing it so there is some limit so that you know you can afk here and if you afk a bit longer than you need to you don't have the problem that you overload yourself with too many and crash the server or whatnot now what do i need to do i need to turn off particles because they can really lag the game out and you can still just pick them up pretty quickly with sweeping edge i'm thinking i possibly might want to extend this a little bit further just because maybe it would be nice to get more at once but it's not too bad and it fills up fairly quickly. Uh, there's a chest here, but I'll plan maybe to make a, a hopper line go under there so that it automatically collects the, bla 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 collects the blaze rods, but it's not too much of a problem. And out here, you can see inside the spawners, kind of, just enough to see if the lava's there. Like You can turn them off by pouring lava over the top, which I might one day put a button in here to do that, possibly. But yeah, you can easily pop in here to see if it's on or off. Um, that, and I was thinking maybe it might also be worth uh, adjusting the trapdoors in there, making it so that I can have a switch where I can close it so that they can't fall down here. Maybe they then, you, then they could build up more without the entity cramming. But that would allow them to kind of build up there more or less infinitely. I mean, into the much bigger spaces up there. I don't know. I'd have to experiment to see how that actually works. But anyway... Uh, yeah, at least sharpness four on this one. That's not too bad. Old one had sharpness five. Could possibly, maybe one day, get a strength beacon in here, but it's not too necessary because, especially for the, if you have been AFK a while, then they usually are have taken some damage from entity cramming, so they're not so many hits, and you just hit them a few times each, and it's generally fine. All right, back to anvilling, I guess. Okay, so that one needs mending. Oh, and it needs a name as well. T got chest plate. Mending and then the thorns on the end. And that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, this one will be about the same. This one's probably cheap because I haven't oh look not that cheap. But it will be about that cheap. If I am correct, I should have exactly all the remaining books I need and the gear. So, making a last trip to the blaze farm, and there I should be able to camp out until the job is done. And I've got, oh, it's not here, it must be in the ender chest or something. I've got four anvils on me, so hopefully they'll last the distance, otherwise that'll suck. And I really severely hope, severely hope, is it actually correct to use the word severely like that? 
I do all the time. I don't, don't know. I guess maybe I'm thinking of sincerely, but anyway, <laughs> severely hope that I do not die on the way because that would suck. That's a lot of books. Luckily, I'm only losing those books though because the rest of the stuff's in the ender chest. So yeah. Uh, Euston, we have a problem. This has gotten too expensive to stick the thorns on it. Don't know why this one did and the other ones didn't. Something to do with probably the other enchants were on the books, like affecting it, but that shouldn't really make a difference, should it? Apparently it has. Luckily I haven't put the really expensive enchants on this one yet, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. Pretty much means I have to replace this helmet. And then put all the enchantments on it again. Luckily, I can actually put the mending on it and then keep it for myself, because that's got everything I'd want on it. And, yeah, mending I can fit for 33. So, it's not entirely a waste. I need to upgrade mine anyway at some point. But, that's kind of a problem. Especially since I didn't bring my diamonds. Although, actually, I've got this helmet, which I could maybe put the stuff on. Except I don't have all the stuff here. So, I'd have to go back there to do it anyway. So, I could possibly do that. Put their helmet on. Put the same stuff on. Or I could just make a new helmet. One of the two. Either way, it's a problem. Another one? What the molly am I flipping doing wrong? No! That one's got the mending on it. Okay. Let me see. I got two of them done. So it's not like it's an impossible combination. It's just something about the order of the books I need to be more careful about. I was trying to put them on in an order that's kind of logical, so you've got, like, the respiration acrophinity together, then the protection, and then whatever. But apparently I need to be a bit more careful and do it in the cheaper order, because that sucks. That really does. Yeah. I guess it's cheaper, or is it better to do it in the more expensive order? Get them all. I know, it's probably a cheaper order. Anyway, I need to be very careful and figure this out. So that I don't do it with the other two helmets. Because that could be, become a problem. Luckily, the only thing that's a real problem I've wasted is a mending book. Because, again, the thorns are the tricky ones. I do have a spare thorns book as well, because I've got a couple of thorns, two, here somewhere. Um, yeah. So that won't be quite so bad. Um, so I've got a spare thorns book. I don't have any spare mending books, but I can buy more from Thor if I have to. That's one anvil down. Here. And it's still a lot of things left to go. Hopefully I get more lucky with the other ones. I'm worried it's going to happen again, because this is 39 with that one. Oh, I'll flip it has happened again. Why does it do that? Okay, I'm studying the anvil mechanics, because why well, it's nice for me to have a lot of backup helmets that I can use. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Deary me. Okay, I'm studying the mechanics because maybe it will be cheaper, like I can combine these two books together. Will that make it cheaper in the end? It probably won't. But maybe it could if I combine them in a certain way. Because, like this time I went, always went for the cheapest one that I added and still had the problem. I had a bunch of research and it seems the main thing is the prior work penalties that you get because based on the number of times something's being repaired. And according to the wiki it kind of doubles essentially each time well adds one and doubles or something or double and adds one whichever it is but if you're combining two things together then you add the penalties together so from my understanding it would make most sense if i kind of combine half the books together before and then put the rest on the thing then i should get a lower result which should be available i think but I think I'm going to run into problems when I get to the boots, because a lot of the feather falling boot books, in fact all of these feather falling books that I made, I had to buy from my villager feather falling two books. Feather falling two, not really useful. And mash like four of those together, so that could pose a problem. I might have to source new feather falling books because of that. So let's see how we go. I should have paid more attention to these books because I just accidentally put Curse of Binding on there. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh crap. That trick seems to have worked though because 
this is the helmet that was mine. It's sort of half broken, but I'll be able to fix it because of the mending. And yeah, so I put about half of the books on here and half on the helmet. Gotta be careful, like, because there's the sharpness there, which won't work on the helmet, so it doesn't add more to the cost of the helmet, but it will add to the cost of if I had to put two books together, that would be a problem. So I gotta be a little bit careful. So yeah, but yeah, I can do that, and I should be able to repair it pretty quickly with this thing. So that'll be one of the helmets. Oh, I still need to rename it, don't I? But yeah, I'll do that. And, okay, so I've now got... What's that? Four dud helmets? <laughs> so that's the one with the cursor binding. And there's three others that I need to replace. And start again with... Uh, let's see. That one has the mending on it. That one has the mending. So it's two more mending books I need to get. But luckily I haven't used any of the thorns on them. <sighs> Here goes. I really need to pay more attention to which of these books have curses on them, apparently. <laughs> uh, I think I need to change it, because at the moment I've got them stroked through, because they're sort of things like you don't really care about. That's kind of bad, like I did with the, the bow and the fishing rod enchantments, but it kind of makes me just not ignore them, when in fact they're not a thing worth ignoring, because they are actually a significant problem in this case. I think quite a lot of these books actually... Well, there's two there that I was just about to put on this chest plate. Luckily, I don't think, except for that one helmet, I've actually done that yet. But I really need to pay attention, and I'll probably change the way it looks in the, the thing, so it doesn't have the slash anymore, maybe even has an underline, so it actually shouts more warning. Because most of the time I've been ignoring it, saying I don't really care. But, like, Curse of Binding, it was fine, because it only works on armour, so if you're putting it on tools or whatever, that doesn't matter. But everything else could be a problem. Here goes another anvil. Another anvil bites the dust. Can this be done? And the last anvil just broke. Right as I... Let's see, I've just finished off the boots. So. That's actually pretty good, because... Oh, those pairs of pants I haven't done yet. Oh, yes, yeah, so those pairs of pants I can't do, because I need more protection books that don't have curses on them. And the helmets... Again, I need to redo those. So actually, that was perfect timing for the anvil to break, because I've done everything that I can do here with the stuff that I now have. All I need to do is get the other stuff. Alright, somehow I think I must have maths wrong again, because I don't seem to have enough protection books, because I thought I brought back enough to do that. But I do not have enough. So, yeah. Got two more anvils. Hopefully they'll last the distance. Um, alright. Yeah, there's definitely no other protection books. I brought five with me. I thought I still had some left, but I don't remember. Anyway, maths was done wrongly. Whatever. <laughs> it's not the first time that's happened in this, this venture. <sighs> All right, that should do it. Here we go. I think I've done it. Just need to tidy up whatever leftover mess I've got here. Uh, all these books I don't need because they're bonk. And then we have to make the delivery. All right, here we are arriving at T-Man's place, T-Corp headquarters. Pretty nice door. Ah, uh, it's just a matter of where exactly we should place the delivery. Probably right here. Right in the centre room. Makes sense. And it's really annoying. He went to all the trouble of... Paying the, the no prank fee. So, six extra diamonds for delivery. So that... I can't do anything mean and nasty with this. You, you can just believe it's been about two weeks. It's now just ticked over midnight Friday, so... Technically Saturday morning, and it was 
Saturday night, two weeks ago, that I checked the delivery. And, and I've had plenty of time to think about what I would like to do if he hadn't paid that fee. Like, I could maybe just equip all this armor on different zombies so that he had to fight for it, or all sorts of things, but I can't do any sort of prank as part of the delivery. However, requesting 25 items for custom enchantment, I think, is a little bit of a jerk move. And you just watch his video. He laughs maniacally when he does it. So I think he's definitely earned a place on my hit list. So it doesn't mean, just because I can't prank him as part of the delivery, doesn't mean that I can't prank him in the future unrelated to that, using this as an incentive. So you're definitely on my hit list. Be warned. There's your important looking receipt. Um, that should be everything you ordered, and now I can enjoy these diamonds freely. <sighs> what the heck do I want all these diamonds for again? Section like, kind of noticed like the no prank fee is six plus one for delivery, so it's actually just supposed to be one for normal delivery with the prank, and six if you want it without it. So it's kind of like he's paying seven when he should have only paid six for that. So it's kind of like overpaid, but at the same time. You generally intended to only request one item at a time, not 25. So I think I think it's fair enough to 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 take an extra diamond just for the extra 24 items. So yeah, no problems there. I mean, technically, I could complain and say that I deserve more diamonds, but really, what are we <laughs> really this many diamonds? Uh, and then as all the diamonds I actually ended up having to spend, so that's not well. This is the 15 that's left after I've used some. And that's the spending of some. Yeah, yeah, it was a pain. It was a pain. But it's been a very eventful two weeks. Very eventful. It's been quite a roller coaster, and I am now happy that it's all over. I think I'm going to retire from business now, or something like that. Oh dear. But no, it's been fun. It's a little bit stressful at times. And I'm sure he doesn't mind waiting. I mean, what kind of maniacal madman needs six sets of armor? Uh, but yes, um, right, I'm going to call this episode an end, and I'm really excited to get on to the next episode, where I'm going to do some building type things, I think. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully, I'll, if, if I get enough sleep tonight, I'll start recording that in the morning. So, um, yes, catch you all later. See you next time. And, and T-Man, lock your windows at night, and your doors, and your chimneys, because... You have gotten on my bad side. Ah, glad that's finally over. Now I've got a heck of a lot of diamonds I can kick back, relax, and swim in, and ah, that's just beautiful.